In order to upload data into your Bar Cloud account using an Excel file, the first thing you'll need is the Bar Cloud Integrator Executable. This will be provided for you, and then once you do have this, what you can do is double click on that integrator, and then go ahead and select Run. Once you've done that, you'll need to enter your customer key, which will be provided for you, your username, as well as your password for your Bar Cloud account. Once that data is entered, click the Login button. And here we can see the integrator which you'll use to upload your Excel spreadsheet data. Before trying to upload your Excel spreadsheet, you'll want to make sure that it's in a .xls format. To verify this, you can go into the File menu in Excel and then choose the Save As option. For the Save As type, you'll want to make sure it's on Excel 97 to 2003 workbook, which is the XLS setting, and not the XLSX setting, which is for newer versions of Microsoft Excel. Once you've confirmed that, simply click Save, and now the spreadsheet's ready to be uploaded. Next in the File Import area, click the Open button on the left side, and this is going to allow you to navigate to your spreadsheet, so you can select it. And once you've selected that spreadsheet, you'll see that the source data, which is on the spreadsheet, will populate here on the left-hand side. Now that you have all the source data on the left-hand side populated, the next step will be to add a mapping. Any previously saved maps will be located in the Save Map drop-down menu, so if you need to edit any of those maps, you can select them from there, and then choose the Edit Map button on the right side. If you need to create a new map, click on the Add Map button, and the first thing you'll want to do on the From drop-down is select the form which you're going to map the data to. In this case, we're mapping our model information for assets, so I'm just going to select Model from the drop-down. And the next step will be to create a name for this map. Next, one trick that I like to use is to click on the column header on the right side. The reason is that it'll list any of the fields with the asterisk in front first, meaning that it's required data, and you'll know that those fields need to be populated. So in this case, what we can do is map the model number, which is what's going to be in my Bar Cloud application, to the columns that are in the drop-down menu. In this case, the model number is going to map to my model code, the model name below here. I'm going to map that to the model name. And then the categories, I'll also map to the categories that are listed here. For the model type, in this case, I'll map that to the asset type code that's in my spreadsheet. And finally, once you have all of the mappings, click on the Save Map button on the top right. And now we can see the mappings on the right located in the Destination Data area. And finally, to upload the data into your Bar Cloud account, what you'll need to do is make sure that the correct map is chosen in the Save Maps dropdown, and then choose Apply Map. Once the window opens, you'll be able to either select the radio button for import data, and that will allow you to import new data into the system, or if you're updating existing information, you can click on the update existing records, and that'll allow you to just update information. In this case, this is new data, so we'll click on import data, and the first step will be to click the validate button. If there is an error, it will highlight that error, so we'll click on it now. And in this case, we do see that there is a few errors here. So I can click OK to the error message. And I can either delete these errors from the screen here by clicking on the X that's located just to the right. Or I can go back into my spreadsheet and redo the data and then select that updated spreadsheet and try uploading that. In this case, we've removed the errors, so we'll validate one more time. Here we can see that the values have been validated. So we'll click OK to that message, and the final step will be to click the Process button. And this will upload that data into your Bar Cloud account. Once you've clicked Process, on the top right of the Bar Cloud integrator. Go ahead and click Yes that you want to proceed. And now we can see that the data we had just imported has now completed, and that will be available to view in your Bar Cloud account. So in order to review this, let's upload one more spreadsheet. And again, we'll choose that spreadsheet from our computer here. 
and this time we're going to upload all of the locations that we have. Click on the Add Map button on the right side. And this time for the From drop-down menu, we're going to select Location. There are some default values that if you decide to not change them, they will come out as what is listed here on the screen. However, if you do want to change those values, you can. Click OK to the message. And start by clicking on the Destination Field column header at the top and then we can again see the fields with the asterisk which are going to be the required fields. So in this case the location ID in my Bar Cloud account, if I click on the corresponding drop down menu to that, I will map that to the location code that's here. And again follow that same process like we did the first time. And here we can see I've completed the mapping. We've mapped the location ID to the location code. We've mapped the location description to the location name and the type of location is also mapped as well. So again, once you've provided a name for this map up on the top left, and you've mapped those fields, click on the Save Map button. And again, we can see our map has been created here. So at this point, we'll need to click on Apply Map. And then again, since this is new data, we're going to use the Import Data feature here at the top instead of the Update Existing Records. Again, to begin, make sure you click the Validate button. And we do see there are some errors, so in this case, again, we can go through, remove the errors from the system. And once those errors have been removed, again, click the Validate button. If there are no errors, the fields will have been validated, which means you can click OK to this message, and then click the Process button to import the data. Again, you'll need to confirm that you want to proceed with this action. Just click yes to the message. And here we can see that 36 records have been imported. Finally, in order to exit out of the BarCloud integrator, click on the Cancel Exit button, and then choose the Close button 